More than a month after Hurricane Maria hit, serious problems persist in Puerto Rico, and so do efforts to lend a hand. Over the weekend, several local Muslim groups came together to send more supplies. Their effort benefiting a community we've introduced you to before. CBS 4's Hank Tester has the story. You're looking at how the most direct people-to-people -people hurricane relief is getting to ravage Puerto Rico. Religious groups packing suitcases full of over-the-counter drugs, needed health supplies, suitcases flown to Puerto Rico. As we found when we visited the little town of Yabacoa, it was direct aid flown in by private organizations that was getting into the hands of those most in need. Non-government and religious organizations are good at this. Now, joining the non-government Puerto Rican relief effort, the Islamic Circle of North America, the INCA, they're sending doctors to help, and they're going back to Yabacoa because... When we arrived there a couple of weeks ago, uh, the people, those who were there, they said they haven't seen anyone yet to arrive there to check them. That's exactly what we heard a week ago. But according to the ICNA, they've shipped a giant container to Yabacoa, okay. set to arrive in a week. We had uh, 40 generators, um, uh, four pallets of uh, baby formulas and diapers, and we have uh, clothes and food. And more important, the group is setting up a clinic, much needed basic medical treatment for those with medical needs. When we were there, we heard a lot about the need for non-emergency medical care for folks with ongoing problems. Just like other religious groups, the INCA diving into the relief effort with no questions asked. We're not there to propagate Islam. We're just going to there to provide relief and nothing else. Hank Tester joining us now, and you and cameraman Rudy Marshall were just there in the same area of Puerto Rico, and you found exactly the same conditions. Exactly, and, and we tried to find out today what's going on, what's the problem, telephone service. Mm -hmm. We had lots of cell phone numbers, couldn't get through, so I called the former governor of Puerto Rico who worked with us, and he said, I can't help you because I don't have any contact with them. Yeah. That is still going on there. But these guys at least are going to set up a clinic and they can uh, help a lot of people there in that little little town, which is about an hour and a half out of San Juan. That's oh, great. great to say. They're getting some attention. Thanks very much, Hank.